few generic products have caught the attention of consumers quite like the liquor options at Costco. From vodka to whiskey and ready-made margaritas, Costco's just waiting for you to belly up to its full bar. Still, some of their liquors don't quite measure up to other options. The Kirkland Signature American Vodka is the Costco alternative for those who prefer domestic vodkas such as Tito's. At under $20 for a 1.75-liter bottle, it's one of the most wallet-friendly options on the list. It's reportedly distilled six times for ultra-smoothness. Having a great price isn't the only thing that makes Kirkland's American Vodka a good choice. Reviewers praise the liquor for its mild and sweet aroma, as well as its smooth and slightly citrusy flavor. However, like most cheaper vodkas, this is likely not the best choice available to you. As noted by the expert reviewers over at Good Cheap Booze, Kirkland's American Vodka is a bit too harsh and thin in the mouth for shots. It's best served with something in it, be it ice, a mixer, or even a splash of juice. A great way to use this American vodka is in a Moscow Mule, which, despite its name, is a classic American cocktail that debuted in the 20th century. Fill a tall glass, preferably a copper mug, with ice and top with two ounces of vodka, four ounces of ginger beer, and a squeeze of lime juice. Stir gently and garnish with extra limes before serving. You're probably asking how a company based out of Washington State makes a scotch worth drinking. Well, like cereals in a bag and most other generic products, it's not Costco that's actually producing the stuff. While Costco keeps their lips shut when it comes to who exactly produces many of their liquors, the word on the street and on the bottle is that the manufacturer of this one is Alexander Murray & Co. The Kirkland Original Blended Scotch Whiskey has a nice caramel color and scent notes of vanilla, cinnamon, ginger, and, of course, peat. Flavor-wise, you'll notice hints of brown sugar, plums, orange, and malt. It's not overly complicated. Rather, it's a very basic scotch distinguished by its clean drinkability. And although Aquaman might think all whiskey is the same… Whiskey. One for Ahab there. It's not. But is this blended scotch whiskey the bottle you should turn to if you're looking to treat yourself to a high-quality dram on a special occasion? Probably not. But that certainly doesn't mean that Kirkland Original Blended Scotch Whiskey doesn't have its uses. It's a great scotch to have on hand if you like a nightly scotch and soda before you hit the hay. It's also a good option if you want something that's nice and dry, perfect for your favorite scotch cocktails or mixed into a boozy winter punch. At less than $25 for 1.75 liter, you can easily afford to be heavy-handed with this blended scotch whiskey. Crown Royal fans rejoice! The Kirkland Signature Canadian Blended Whiskey is considered a great dupe at a better price compared to the name brand in the purple bag. The Canadian whiskey was one of the three Costco spirits chosen to be tested in BuzzFeed's blind taste test. Panelists noted that, when compared visually with Crown Royal, the two side-by-side -side look the same as far as color and clarity. The amateur taste testers were split 50-50 when deciding which whiskey was the real deal and which was the Costco version, which is a pretty good indicator that when it comes to choosing between the two, you have an either-or situation on hand. Bah! Blended Canadian! The only whiskey is Irish whiskey. Kirkland's signature blended Canadian whiskey is another Costco spirit that's earned an exceptional rating from the Tastings website, scoring an impressive 91 points through their blind taste test. Best of all, Kirkland's Canadian whiskey costs less than $20 for the 1.75 liter bottle. Compare that to the $40 to $45 you'll spend for the same amount of the name brand stuff. It's a pretty solid bargain if you're a fan of Canadian whiskey in your highballs. What in the heck does the XO and XO Cognac even stand for? Well, as it turns out, it means extra old, which kind of makes sense considering that Kirkland's signature XO Cognac is one of the pricier Costco liquors to make it to the list, at a healthy average price of $50 for 750 milliliters, though that price may vary by location. To be considered XO, the youngest Cognac in the blend must be aged at least 10 years, with the average age of all the individual liquors running 20 years or older. The result is a sweet and slightly spicy liquor that pairs well with cigars and is best served straight or, at most, with a couple of ice cubes. 
Its flavor is advertised as very light, very floral, with just a hint of spice on the end and enough notes to tell you that you're drinking a rich, complex cognac for the money. If you want to make this bargain bottle feel fancier when you sip it, store it in a nice liquor decanter, and no one will know the difference. Grab it when you see it, though. This one is often only available during the holidays. What helps the Kirkland Signature Irish Cream Liqueur stand out from the pack is not only for its wallet-friendliness, but experts also find that flavor-wise it is better than the name-brand counterpart because it's smoother and more balanced. You'll pick up aromas of cocoa, cream, and, of course, Irish whiskey. You'll likely taste notes reminiscent of candy, chocolate, caramel, and hazelnut in particular. Given its inherent sweetness, most people enjoy Irish cream either chilled and served straight or over ice. But it's also delicious poured into a cup of coffee or a homemade mudslide. This is the one that got the buzz over Costco liquors in the first place. This list wouldn't be complete without Kirkland's signature French vodka. It was one of the three liquors included in a BuzzFeed blind taste test, and the panelists had some interesting things to say about how it tastes. Compared to Grey Goose, it tastes, quote, fancier. And another tester said drinking Kirkland's signature French vodka feels like I should be on a rooftop veranda. Despite the rumors, Costco is not simply re-bottling Grey Goose and calling it their own. Kirkland's signature French vodka is made from the same water source as Grey Goose, which has received lower ratings in many blind taste tests and costs more than twice as much. Kirkland's French vodka has a distinctive viscosity, silky, with a medium-weight heft akin to white wine, according to the food website Kitchen. Its flavor is clean and bright with a subtle sweetness that makes it a great vodka for drinking straight or on the rocks. All of that and it's only going to cost you around $25 for the 1.75-liter bottle. No wonder it has so much buzz. This recent addition to the Costco shelves is not to be confused with Kirkland's long-standing and underwhelming seven-year small-batch bourbon. While the bottle lacks an age statement, it's one of the rare Kirkland liquor offerings that doesn't require a scavenger hunt to figure out who actually makes the stuff. Printed right there on the label is the name of the producer, Barton 1792 Master Distillers, which happens to be one of the most revered distilleries in the bourbon biz. Since we reported on the release in May, the reviews have begun to pour in, and the consensus is buy, buy, buy this easy-drinking Kentucky Nectar, which clocks in at 45% alcohol by volume. Forbes magazine said the whiskey has a smooth taste and it has notes of cinnamon and clove accompanied by caramel and vanilla notes. For around 20 bucks a liter, this is an absolute steal, especially if you're looking to stock your bar with a solid everyday sipper. One Reddit user said, This is a great value bourbon. It's amazing finish and even better price give it a dedicated place on my shelf. And for those of you who prefer a bourbon that is a tier or two higher on the shelf, Keep your eyes peeled for two additional Kirkland collaborations with Barton that are sure to be a hit, a single barrel bottle and a bottled and bond version. There is no better way to combat the scorching summer heat than a fruity cocktail, especially in the form of a frozen popsicle. Essentially adult otter pops, Kirkland's signature ready-to-freeze cocktails may not reach the lofty standards of a mixologist, but they will cool you down and give you a bit of a buzz. The alcohol by volume is only 8%, more or less splitting the difference between a lager and a rosé, so we're certainly not complaining. This is a variety pack, so you'll get to enjoy three refreshing flavors strawberry freeze, lime drop, and watermelon hibiscus. Each popsicle is only 100 calories and contains nary an artificial sweetener. While previous versions were made with vodka, the current offering uses other than standard orange wine as the boozy addition. Since this is a Costco purchase, you can expect plenty of pops. 18 pouches in each $13.99 package. But if freezer space is an issue, not to worry. These are ready to freeze, so you don't have to load them all in at once unless you're throwing a party, in which case, clear out plenty of room. If Frank Sinatra were alive today, the Jack Daniels fanatic would likely get a kick out of the Kirkland Signature Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey. While the branding isn't explicit, it doesn't take much detective work to figure out who is behind this one. Not only did Costco release a behind-the-scenes video documenting the making of the whiskey, directly on the bottle, you'll find the signature of Mike Williams. We do extensive testing on it once it gets to the distillery, uh, just to make sure that we have uh, really good corn that we make in our Tennessee whiskey with. Williams is the owner of celebrated Tennessee whiskey producer Collier & McKeel, where he doubles as chief distiller. 
The company's Tennessee whiskey earned a 92-point rating from wine enthusiasts and was named one of the magazine's top 100 spirits of 2016. While this particular bottling may not contain the exact same juice as the Collier & McHugh offering, whiskey lovers are equally enthusiastic. Over on Reddit, there are plenty of comparisons to Jack Daniels. One Redditor who prefers the Kirkland Tennessee whiskey notes, it tasted sweeter and more mellow than Jack. Another reported, It is a bit like a Jack knockoff, but it has a little of its own flavor, too. I really love it. Prices for the Kirkland Tennessee whiskey have been reported anywhere from $18.99 to $36.99. But if you can pick it up for less than the price of a handle of good ol' reliable JD, it's definitely worth it. Kirkland's signature seven-year small-batch bourbon simply misses the mark where other liquors sold at Costco hit it. It is rumored to be sourced from the Buffalo Trace Distillery in Frankfort, Kentucky, but there's also some proof that it may be manufactured by Jim Beam, and others claim it's recently started being manufactured by George Dickel. Either way, reviewers agree that it tastes more like Jim Beam. That is, it's okay. Just okay. At 51.5% alcohol by volume, it's very hot, meaning it has that harsh alcohol burn that generally turns people off from a certain liquor. And while it's strong, it's not complex at all. This seven-year small-batch bourbon lacks the various sweet and spicy notes that make a spirit interesting. After all, that's what people like about bourbon, that while it's strong up front, it generally mellows out on the palate to showcase other flavors, making it enjoyable to drink. Bourbon is America's native spirit and is taken very, very seriously in certain circles. While Costco can provide a cost-friendly option and there will certainly be people willing to buy it, in all honesty, there are better bourbons that don't cost much more. According to A Bar Above, a website dedicated to craft cocktails, Kirkland's signature small-batch bourbon is similar in price to brands like Maker's Mark and Bullet Rye, and those options taste better. Other bourbons that combine quality with affordability include bartender-suggested Old Grandad, Old Forester, Buffalo Trace, and Eagle Rare. When it comes to liquor, the older the better, right? Well, not when it comes to this particular list. While the Kirkland Signature Blended Scotch may be one of the best liquor buys at Costco, its 24-year-old cousin doesn't make the cut. At about $70 for 750 milliliters, the quality for the price just doesn't hold up like Costco's better options. Overall, the aroma lacks depth and complexity. This Scotch whiskey also has a thinner mouthfeel and is quite astringent upon first taste. So we say thumbs down. The third type of booze included in BuzzFeed's blind taste test was the Kirkland Signature Spiced Rum versus Captain Morgan Spiced Rum. And while panelists commented that the Costco version is darker, sweeter, and tastes like, quote, a drunk gingerbread man, they generally preferred the Captain, which they claim tastes like honey and eggnog, but without the egg. Kirkland's signature spiced rum isn't the best buy on the Costco liquor shelves because at around $20 for 1.75 liter, you're not really saving that much money for a product that is, well, meh. If you've tried the Kirkland Spiced Rum and love the flavor, by all means, buy away. However, if you're looking for a steal with quality that will blow you away a la their French vodka, you're not going to find it here. Costco carries three store brand tequilas, Añejo, Silver, and Reposado. The Añejo gets points for being an aged tequila for less than $30, and the Reposado gets rave reviews from those who can get their hands on it, but the Silver falls short compared to its siblings. First of all, its flavor and aroma profiles contain very strong alcohol notes that overpower those of the agave and citrus that make a tequila sippable. This is the kind of tequila that results in shot face when you take it straight. Sure, sometimes that's all you need, but it's the type of low quality that gives tequila a bad reputation in some circles. Lady Tequila can be a harsh mistress, but when she is good to you, she is really, really good. If you want to explore all she has to offer, it may aid digestion, lower cholesterol, and provide you with a hangover-free morning, try the Añejo straight or over ice. If you want to make simple cocktails with your tequila, go with the Reposado. And if you want a cheap silver tequila to make a big batch of sugar-laden margaritas, the Kirkland Signature Silver will do the trick, but it's not going to blow you away doing it. At around $25 for a 1.75-liter bottle, the price is right for Kirkland Signature London Dry Gin. But like the other worse on this list, it simply doesn't stand out enough among its competition. After all, depending on where you buy it, you can get the same amount of New Amsterdam for a pretty similar price. 
So while Kirkland's signature gets points for its quote, satiny, crisp, dry, light body, it's not going to blow you away as far as value goes. Furthermore, the Kirkland Signature London Dry Gin is a poor choice for certain cocktails. If you like to throw back a few gin and tonics with lime every now and then, or you want to experiment with making Negronis, it's fine. However, a decent martini needs the right gin, and this ain't it. You want something with more complexity, and additional floral and citrus notes to balance out the juniper. Tanqueray, Boodles, and Hendrix are all great choices, and at $20 to $35 a bottle, they aren't going to set you back much more than the Costco stuff. With access to so many high-quality, ready-to-imbibe mixed drinks, the Kirkland Signature Strawberry Margarita sadly drinks like an afterthought. If you happen to be attending a Jimmy Buffett concert, this might be an ideal pre-game beverage. Let's start with the positives. It comes in a double-sized 1.5-liter bottle, plus it's made with 100% cane sugar and real lime juice. As for the strawberry portion of the margarita, that falls under the natural flavors portion of the ingredients, and the taste is a bit too sweet and artificial for our liking. When it comes to the base liquor, double-check the label. In some regions, the margarita is your standard gold tequila and triple sec version, but in other locations, the cocktail is spiked with inferior agave wine. At least if you're going to cheap out, don't anoint your product as premium on the shelf or anywhere else. When it comes to eggnog, there is no denying the drink deserves recognition as a Christmas cocktail standard. When done right, as in using fresh eggs, milk, and nutmeg, the creamy, frothy, not-too-sweet concoction is bound to be a holiday hit. And then there's the seasonal Kirkland rendition, which is about as fresh as a that's-what-she-said retort. The good news is that the former wine-based beverage is now made with actual hard booze, a blend of whiskey, spiced rum, and brandy. Unfortunately, they are still being sold alongside the rest of Costco's liquor selection, which means it's just sitting out there in the room-temperature warehouse, which is a pretty good indicator that fresh eggs and milk are not part of the equation. Is it drinkable? Yes. And if you're throwing a holiday get-together, we understand the impulse to take the pre-made route. But if you can carve out some time, going DIY will yield far jollier results. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite liquors are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.